It is Mike's birthday today, so that's super, super exciting. Although the poor thing is at work right now, which sucks to be working on your birthday. But I am taking him out for a special birthday treat this evening. We're heading off to one of our favourite restaurants, um, Hakkasan in London, and I am so excited, probably more than him because I haven't eaten today. Harrison is at my mum and dad's this evening so it is baby free so we actually have time for adult conversation. We are heading into London, well I am, I'm gonna meet Mike and if I can I will vlog but it's super super dark and like ambient in there um, and I don't think my camera really picks up that much in that light but I think I vlogged it before. I don't know, I think I did at some point, if I did I will link that vlog below, but if you haven't been to Hakkasan already then you need to go because it seriously is incredible. We did birthday cake and balloons and stuff with Harrison last night so that Harrison didn't miss out, I know Harrison probably doesn't even understand the concept of birthdays, in fact I'm certain that he doesn't understand, but I wanted him to be a part of it so we made a birthday cake last night and we blew out the candles and blah 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 which was super cute and um, Harrison is obsessed with the balloons which makes me cringe because I hate them um but yeah so Harrison's not missing out and he gave daddy his birthday card and stuff this morning so yes I am gonna shoot now um the weather looks crap but I'm not gonna go cab this time so I must admit I'm feeling like a bit of a right now wearing a jumpsuit which I add is the most comfortable thing in the world a hat a trench a scarf and peep toe shoes but we're just heading off for a baby date and um, we're heading to one of the local soft play kitty cafes which is so so cute and I think Harrison's getting more towards the age where he can play a lot more and obviously with him starting nursery soon it's the kind of atmosphere that I want him to be in a lot more just to kind of get him used to it. Yes, this will be a make sure you It is Wednesday afternoon and we are finally out of the house, thank goodness. It's been a little bit of a crazy one. Harrison's new teeth aren't the most friendly of teeth. They are causing him a little bit of trouble. Sorry, I thought my window was open. And um, they are causing him quite a bit of trouble. And he is a grouchy little boy. Um also I found out some really, really sad news last night, which kind of knocked me for six of shock. Um but as I mentioned at the beginning of this year, this year is all about positivity. Um, so try and stay relaxed and calm and just take it all in its stride really. I'm absolutely very positive that things are all going to work out perfectly well. So here's to that. Um, what else? Yeah, we just popped out for some coffee, well tea. I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and go and see my mum and dad. And also I need to reply to emails. I feel like my inbox is just obscene. Yeah! Da 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 da! Mama, mama! No mama mas yet, just da da das. Um, but I'm working on it. Baby boy. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, did I wake you up? Harrison, who's that? <laughs> Is that you? Look, should we do a H like we did in the sand? H for Harrison. Look, whoa! Oh, 
Oh, you just want to eat it. Hello. Can I have a kiss? Mwah. Listen. Whoa. What are you doing? Hi. Hello, baby. Are you going to wake up? Scratch your face again. That's a nice smile. Oh. Ow. You gone silly. Harrison. Have you gone silly? There's no leaving you on here anymore, is there? Hey! Who's your big boy now? Hey? We are off for a family meal, which is really, really nice. I can't wait for some food. I am so hungry. And also, look at this. Harrison, you're in your big boy chair, aren't you? Do you love it? He does love it, I promise. Um, we got that yesterday and it is so, so much better. I am, I feel like a new girl, a new mum. Yep, I feel like a new mum. So it is Monday morning and today is actually Harrison's first day of settling in at nursery and to be honest with you I'm feeling kind of good about it and um, I don't know how I'll feel later and tomorrow I'll probably feel dreadful but right now I'm feeling really positive and I know it's the best thing for Harrison so that is kind of seeing me through. Um, last night was the worst night's sleep Ever. I don't even remember Harrison having as bad a night's sleep when he was a newborn. I'm guessing that more teeth are coming, but it was dreadful to say the least. Harrison is refusing to take his morning <laughs> nap. Oh, it's funny! Is it funny? <laughs> We're just walking up to nursery now, and although I'm not as calm as I was this morning, I do have a bit of a feeling of dread in my stomach. Um, I'm definitely not feeling as tearful as I thought I would. Is that an excited face? Does your jacket taste nice? So we're practically outside and maybe the dread has got a little bit worse. Yeah, I'm a bit scared. Are you? No. You're not scared of anything. Yeah. Harrison, look what we got. Look at that. Say thank you, channel mum. Say thank you. No, I don't think you're meant to eat that, sweetheart. Can I have it back? <laughs> I don't think I checked in with you again yesterday in regards to how nursery went. Um, it went so well. It's basically a like settling in day which mostly consisted of paperwork and um, figuring out what time they should feed Harrison and um, what time he's going to need his bottles, his sleep, how they will know that he's tired, what toys he's into, what his personality's like, whether he's crawling. I guess just figuring out the logistics and letting them know about Harrison before he actually goes there because obviously I won't be there to be like oh he's tired now um, he needs his blanket so yeah just little things like that it was really really nice and reassuring and I think we're going back there tomorrow I am nervous of course I don't want to leave him but I am very confident that he is going to enjoy it and it's the best thing for him they asked me my reasons for Harrison going to nursery 
and honestly apart from the fact that we work and um, for me personally because we don't have any other babies and because there's not so many babies in our family it's really really important that Harrison grows up around other kids to build on his social interaction and learning to share you're so cute <laughs> It's time for the bloody weekly shop again. I feel like this comes around every two days and not every week. It drives me insane. Um, and as you can tell, Harrison isn't in their best of mood. So here goes. Also, this hair kind of just sums up everything right now. The ice cream man. It is bright and early. Harrison. Boo. Gorgeous boy. Gorgeous boy. Gorgeous boy, are you ignoring me on purpose? <laughs> yes, you are. Are you stuck? You need a little push. There we go, a little push. Harrison? <laughs> you reading your book? I think it's nap time. Yeah. Well, bye then, Mr. Independent. Good boy, you brushing your teeth. So it is Thursday and it is another day of settling in at nursery. Um, I'm just making myself some breakfast whilst Harrison naps. I think I'm meant to be leaving Harrison for the whole session today, which terrifies me slightly, but he was okay yesterday. Um, for the first 15 minutes he didn't cry at all. In fact, he didn't even look for me when I left which was slightly concerning. Then they brought in some chickens and bunnies for Easter and I think they might have frightened him a little bit. So they called me back into the room because he was a little bit unsettled and oh, it was heartbreaking. Um, his chin was wobbling and he had tiny little tears. Um, but I didn't want to pick him up because I didn't want to be like, every time we cry, we're gonna pick you up. So I just sat with him and stroked his back and just like comforted him. And he calmed down and then he was talking to the chickens and touching them and so now and Harrison is having another nap because he got super super tired and um, the boy did good he didn't cry at all well he did cry but more towards the end because he was tired and wouldn't sleep in their cots I'm so so proud of him and um, rule number one is to not wake a sleeping baby but I have to go and wake up a sleeping baby which could result in some very grumpy, grumpy behaviour. Oh, you're not grumpy anymore. <coughs> oh, you are. Oh, baby, let's go get you some lunch and then we go out, shall we? Turn the light off. Right? Let's go. It is seriously amazing how much a big boy car seat can change your life. fair with my mum and dad and I am so excited for all of the food. I am guessing there will be goodies and that makes me happy.
say we've not long been in and Harrison has gone down for another nap which can only mean one thing today and that is Easter eggs and a little bit of TV um Nikki is on her way over I believe which is so so nice I haven't seen her for so long and I know that she desperately misses Harrison um and that's not me being big headed she's told me um I'm gasping for a cup of tea but I haven't got any of my favourite tea bags and I'd rather not have a cup of tea than have a bad cup of tea um I don't know what to do so that pretty much sums up being a mum today forgetting to have your breakfast in fact, forgetting to even take the toast out of the toaster. What's all this noise? <laughs> Harrison's got, yet again, another cold cough. Haven't you? I've got another cold and cough. Let's give you some medicine. Might end the vlog here and try and edit it tonight, fingers crossed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all very well. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And make sure you comment, subscribe, and all of that jazz. Um, and yeah, I will see you next week. Bye.